Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use pass the hash attack on a Windows environment. So, in order to conduct the attack, I'm going to use a box called GIFs from Hack the Box. And let's see how we can proceed. In the current uh, documents directory of the current user, we found a file called ch.kdbx. The extension, you can just Google it, uh, belongs to a key pass database data. So, uh, in order to conduct the attack, I'm going to just first copy this to my own working directory. And during the attack, I've already uh, uploaded a netcat.exe file to this directory. Where is it? Here. Okay, here is a netcat.exe file. So, in order to send the file to my own working directory, and on my own box, I'm gonna listen on the port, let's say 4444, and save any file that comes in this port as ch.kdbx. And also in here, go to the directory and run the file netcat.exe and send this file to my own IP address on port 4444. And the file that's going to be saved is this. Okay, open the new tab and let's see and work on the file ch.kdbx. In order to open this keypass database file, you can just use a tool called keypassx and open the file. But it asks for a password. I use a null password and it just persist that it needs a password. So, okay, no harm done. I will just try to crack the password for this key pass TDBX file. In order to do that, I need to first convert the file into a John crackable format. And ta da! It just turns the file into a John crackable format. So I will just took this without the ch part in the beginning, of course, because the hash format just starts with this key pass. And say so we uh, let's call the file ch.txt, save the file in it. It looks fine, and I will put John minus minus format uh, key pass minus minus word list. Uh, user share word list rocku.txt and of course the file name is ch.txt uh, it took a bit so as I have already conducted this attack and this is the password so I'm gonna open up the key pass application again and ta da here are the password for us I see some passwords for Bank of America, DC Recovery Password, some password for web, web applications, Walmart, etc. Let's go with this backup stuff, okay? Okay, there's password and you can see preview the password or hash in here. It looks like a hash, you know, NTLM hash. So. I'll just copy this and here is the attack starts uh, yeah open a new tab and I'm gonna use a tool called PTH win exit which is the tool that we're gonna conduct the pass the hash attack so you can always check it with the minus minus help option and I'm gonna show you how I use it we'll say user and started with saying the name of the box, Jeeves, um, slash administrator. We'll put a percentage here so that I can just paste the hash. Then I will just say in the system and IP of the box 10, 10, 10, 6, 3. And hopefully just run cmd.exe. And it gives me the shell for my anti-order system. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.